The six month update is finally here. I cannot believe it has already been six months. It's literally crazy. It went by slow in the moment, but then looking back, it went by so fast. I cannot believe it has been half a year. Like it's blowing my mind. Anyways, I wanna to talk to you guys about what I can do, what I still can't do, some issues I'm still having and some issues that have resolved, that sort of thing and uh, just give you kind of like, you know, a six month update, if you will. <laughs> so you guys are gonna see a workout at the end of this little chat that I did this morning. So my like six month official workout, like the things I'm able to do. So as far as like fitness stuff and like ankle specific calf kind of stuff, I can do pretty much everything. I can do single leg lifting, I can do plyometrics, and then on the more like soccer side of things. I can juggle, I can kick the ball, I can change directions, I can uh, jump, I can run, all that kind of stuff. So pretty much I can do everything. It's all just kind of like at a lower level than I used to be able to do everything. There are some things that I currently am not doing slash cannot do as far as like the soccer side of things go, and that is kicking the ball with my right leg, like serving a ball, a long ball. The way that I have to plant on my left ankle when I do that is still quite irritating for me. I can do it, but to get like a lot of power behind the service, it is like a little bit painful on the inside of my ankle. And then the second one would be serving a long ball with my left foot. Uh, I haven't attempted it. I have only like struck a ball with my laces and served like a 40 yard pass on the ground, but I haven't tried to like actually like serve a ball, like serve a long ball. So I'll let you guys know how that goes when I do it. It will probably be in my next update, but I, to be honest, I'm just too scared to do it at the moment. I am currently training with no ankle brace or ankle tape. Everything is non-contact and I'm not training like very intensely. So I feel comfortable and I want to continue that if I can I want to be able to like strengthen my ankle without any support and then add in support if I need it so maybe in the next update I'll try to throw on that brace and serve long ball but at the moment I'm just kind of staying away from it and taking things slow Sauce, yeah. Took a loss, that's your loss. Yeah. Had to get my point across. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
that's your loss. Had to get my point across. <laughs>
So that is what I can do and cannot do as far as like athletically and that kind of thing. Now I wanna touch really quick on some of the like issues I'm still having. So after I train pretty much at all, or even if I just have a really active day, my ankle does get a little bit swollen and a little bit like sensitive and the range of motion is a little bit restricted by the end of the day. I just usually like can pop some ice on it and that will fix it and sometimes I don't even and I just put it up and do like ABCs and stuff and that really helps. Like I mentioned that I'm not confident to strike a ball with my left foot. I also just feel not confident in general on that ankle. So any drills that I'm doing, like any cutting, any sprinting, any just kind of even daily stuff, I just don't feel really confident and safe and like secure. Like I'm hyper vigilant with everything, where I'm stepping and who's walking on my left side and all that kind of stuff. So I am trying to break that, but it's just gonna come with time. And when I get back into playing, it could be a problem, but at the moment, it's probably not the worst thing to be overly cautious and careful, you know? There's still like a little bit of cracking and popping, but it doesn't really hurt and it doesn't feel like it's catching as much. It almost feels like, I just need to kind of like point my toes and crack my ankle every once in a while and it's really relieving and it's not like catching and, and it's not a struggle for me to do, it's quite easy. Another one of those weird sensations that I'm sure I told you guys about that's still happening is like this feeling of like cool water running through my foot. It is really random when it happens, I can't like tell you what makes it happen, it's just I would say it usually happens like after I've been sitting and then I stand up, but it could happen while I'm standing up like and I've been standing up. So it's very strange, but I talked to my doctor about it and he wasn't really concerned. He just said that when you have an invasive surgery, you have to cut through a bunch of small nerves and just tissue and all that kind of stuff. And the healing process can just be different for people and just bring weird symptoms. So that cool water kind of rushing through my my veins feeling is my weird symptom. And then the last two symptoms that I just kind of am still dealing with that I know are gradually getting better and will continue to get better and eventually go away are if I stand for too long or sit for too long and just keep my ankle way below my heart for too long, especially with like weight on it, it starts to get like a little bit pins and needly and a little bit numb feeling and like tingly and it's getting better. Like that was so obviously so incredibly bad right after surgery and it's just gradually, very slowly getting better and better. So hopefully in another six months, it'll just be completely gone. And then the last thing that is very strange, this is like a really strange one and my doctor didn't really have much to say about it. It's just that my foot is like hot at the end of the day, like to the touch, but then it feels cool. But then sometimes it feels hot and it's cool. Like it doesn't make any sense to me, but it's like, it's a significant change in temperature. Does that make sense? Like when my foot, my right foot is cold. And when I go, oh, my right foot is cold. Then I touch it, it's cold. But with my left foot, it's like the opposite. Like if my left foot feels really cold to me and then I touch it with my hands, it's hot to my hands touch. It's so confusing and weird. And this only happens at the end of the day. At the end of the day, every day. I'm getting just kind of used to it at this point, but it also is getting a little bit better, I think. Like a tiny, tiny bit better. And I'm not really sure what's going on with it. I think it's just like nerve brain, connection like I don't know maybe maybe my brain is just like not receiving the I don't know the I don't I don't know the word it's not receiving the oh uh, no wait maybe not symptoms correctly I don't know it doesn't make any sense but it's not that bad and it's something that I've just gotten used to but that's what we're dealing with here all right so yeah that's kind of all I have I I do want to touch a little bit on like kind of the mental side of things or how I'm doing or whatever, but my ankle is doing good. My foot and my toe and my calf still have some issues, but my ankle itself is doing good. And to be honest, I haven't had a chance to be frustrated at my ankle yet because of my hip. So my hip is like my restriction at the moment and it is quite an intense restriction. And so I haven't had the chance to like push my ankle and get fresh out of my ankle because I always 
have to stop because of my hip. So I'm always getting frustrated at my hip, if that makes sense. So it's a little bit tough to talk about the mental side of things and kind of like the like foreseeable future with my ankle and like how I'm progressing with it and stuff like that. But it's just because it's like not the biggest issue at the moment. So yeah, that's just kind of where I'm at. But maybe my next update will be a gosh darn hip update. How about that? How about we just throw it all in there? If anybody wants to know more about my hip situation or anything like going on with that, please just comment below and we can talk privately about that. And uh, if I go forward with any surgeries or anything with that with my hip, um, I will let you guys know. It is Saturday the 27th and I get injections in exactly one week into my hip. So I will maybe let you guys know how that goes. Basically, I'm getting cortisone injections because I have a bum hip and I need surgery on it, but I don't wanna get surgery on it. So we're trying every possible avenue before we decide to do surgery. I will maybe just make a really quick update after that appointment um, and track my progress with that because basically I'm getting the injection and then I'm going into six straight weeks of like really intense rehab where we like really, really push rehab because I'll be uh, not really feeling much pain and having way less inflammation. So that's kind of the plan at the moment. And then hopefully I'll be able to up my training because my training always stops with my hip. I'll insert a couple clips here of my hip being the issue and uh, stopping my, <laughs> my training sessions. Bruh. 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 Uh, there's some college football player doing it. Ah! Uh. Okay. Are you okay? Nope. It's over? Oh, fuck, it just hurts so bad. Jesus Christ. Try again. Nice? Yeah. Nope. Oh my god. Oh my god. <sighs> oh, it's so painful to even think about. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this little update. As always, comment down below if you have any questions. Thank you guys for watching and joining me today. Hope you're all having a lovely day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Oh, one other thing I wanted to mention is that my scars I have not been doing a damn thing for them, and they look so good. This is the inside one, and it is literally perfection. This is the outside one. So there's this, and then this little. So yeah, you can see they are doing really, really well and I'm super happy about that. Not that people really see my ankles a lot, but, uh, and like this scar that I have, like is not healed nearly as good and neither is the one on my, my elbow. So uh, yeah, it's, it's a good scar. I literally just had a panic attack because I didn't think my microphone was on that whole time and I actually had a panic attack. Anyways, so yeah, what I'm trying to say <laughs> is that my surgeon did a really good job and I'm happy about that. So shout out Metzl. I'm gonna go drink my poppy and have me just a wonderful Saturday. So I hope you guys are too.